-hmm. So let's say you had to spend eternity standing beside one vampire and your choice was Team Edward or your choice was Bill from True Blood. Which one would you choose? Where's Lestat? From? Well, but listen, I figured, <laughs> I figured you know Lestat. You spent enough time with Lestat. No, I want him in eternity. <laughs> you want him in eternity? No, it would be Bill. It would it be Bill. Be, yeah, I like Bill from True Blood. Oh, really? Yeah, I think he's cool. Did, what, now, what do you think about the, the mania around Twilight? Around Twilight? Yeah. I understand it. I, I think it was a stroke of genius for the Vampire Diaries and, and, and Stephanie Meyer to put vampires in high school. That was great. I never thought of that. You know, my vampires would not go to high school. No. I, I would have to torture them <laughs> to make them go to high school. But, uh, I mean, what I did with it was totally different. I, I wanted uh, very glamorous, very mythological vampires. Uh, and they did the opposite. They domesticated them, and they, mm -hmm. they put them in high school, and they put them in, in uh, Charlene Harris put them in Bonton, Louisiana. They're at Sam Merlot's Corner Bar or whatever. Yeah. I, th I thought that was great. So is that one of the things you have to sit back and do you ever walk into the DVD store and they see Anne Rice picking up True Blood season three? Is that <laughs> well, actually, I send for it. I order it online, <laughs> but I do have all the seasons of True Blood. I'm a big fan of True Blood. Is I it... love Charlene Harris. I think she's great. And what is it about the supernatural that you love so much then? I don't know. You know, I don't think authors really choose these things. It chooses us. You find out. It, it, I'm sure it's the same with Tom Clancy. He writes what he writes because that's where the intensity is. That's where the fun is. That's where he feels alive. It's the same way with me in The Supernatural. When I'm writing about a vampire, werewolf, ghost, mummy, whatever, I feel completely alive. It must be fun for you to be back out there and, and, and just back in the world again doing this. It is fun. It's a lot of fun. I'm, I'm in a good new uh, cycle. You know, feels good. At what point did you think, were you thinking, I need, I need to get back into this, I need another cycle? No, I, I, I don't really know. Uh, somebody, I got a casual suggestion that I write a werewolf novel from a friend, Jeff Easton, mm -hmm. this producer of White Collar. And it was in an email. And for some reason, I mean, many people have said to me, why don't you do werewolves? Why did you never do anything with werewolves, et cetera? But for some reason, I saw a way to do it. I suddenly thought, okay, yeah, I see what I want to do with that, of course. And why that, why that is that way now, and other times it didn't, didn't spark anything imaginative, I don't know. So I figure it's just after Twilight took your whole vampire thing, you're like, let me show you how to do werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit? Well... <laughs> I imagine that had to be in the subconscious somewhere. Maybe so. Maybe so. <laughs>